Hey guys, so today we're at Niemeyer's Trailer Sales and we are in Albertville, Minnesota. We're going to be looking at the Arctic Fox 992 today. We have Mitch with us. He's going to be showing us different specs and taking us for a tour with, through the camper. All right. Yeah, so this is the Arctic Fox 992. Um, the dry weight on this without any cargo or anything is going to be about 3,200 pounds. So, you know, the Arctic Fox truck campers compared to like the Wolf Creeks that we've looked at, they are going to be a physically larger camper. You know, they're going to be taller. They're going to have the, you know, cathedral arched ceilings things like that that are just going to make them feel more spacious. They'll have, they'll have slide outs, you know, the Wolf Creeks don't come with slide outs, different things like that. So walking around the outside here, this one's got quite a few options on it from the factory. One of the big ones is going to be the onboard propane generator. So it's going to come with the Onan Cummins 2500i generator. So it is going to be the newer inverter style generator. So these are a lot quieter, you know, if you've heard some of the older Onan's running, they're not the quietest things. These are a lot quieter and they still work just as well. Um, so that's a nice feature that'll run off of the propane that's on board the camper. So you don't have to worry about gas or anything like that. Um, you've got the Fox landing step. Again, this is an option from the factory. Kind of helps give you more of a gradual climb up into the camper. Um, not such large steps. That just folds up and out of the way when you're traveling. So that's really nice there. This mid-step does actually come off. You've got latches on either side. And you slide the step off to gain access to your joey tray here. So you've got a small latch, and then this tray will pull out for additional storage. So, you know, good for longer items like lawn chairs or fishing poles, things like that, or whatever else you want to keep in there. Just some extra bonus storage. You have a propane disconnect on the outside of the camper there. So if you've got any of your RV appliances like a grill or a, you know, the flat top griddles are becoming more popular, you can just plug them in right there. You do have a ladder to the roof. So it is a full walk on roof. So you can get a bunch of people up there. And uh, you do have the power awning on the back here with your LED light strip, as well as some outdoor speakers. So this is a really nice place to put your chairs and kind of hang out. And then you said the backup camera is an optional add-on? Yes, yeah, so this one's gonna have the, uh, the Voyager backup camera. Okay. And it really is an observation camera. You can have it on, you know, going down the road as well, and see what's behind you. Or, you know, if you're pulling something, you know, with the pickup camper, sometimes it's hard to see. So you can kind of, you know, make sure it's still there and things like that. Uh, this camper is gonna have the Ryko Titan jack system. Um, so that's going to be a wireless, you know, remote that controls the jacks. So you can just use the remote to control, you know, taking the jack, taking the camper on and off the truck, leveling, things like that. And then with the remote, I can kind of show you, you can actually run other things as well, such as your awning or the slide out can actually be controlled on the remote as well. Um, coming around the side, you've got your uh, six gallon suburban water heater. So that'll operate off of propane gas or 110 volt electricity. So a six gallon tank on that. You've got an auxiliary shower. So you've got a sprayer hose that'll hook up to there so you can spray things off or take a shower. It's got hot and cold water, which is really nice to have outside. Um, this camper does have the optional box awning. Um, so basically this is gonna be a manual awning. There's no switch for it. You do have a crank, you, you roll this out and then these arms here, you know, will come down and attach to the side of the camper, or you can also run them straight to the ground and they've got holes so you can stake them into the ground that way. You got your battery compartment here. So this one does have the batteries in it. So, you know, what batteries it comes with is going to depend on your Arctic Fox dealer, your Northwoods dealer. We send ours out with two uh, SRM 31 group batteries, so they are a nice higher capacity battery. We get a lot of customers that take these, you know, off grid and don't have hookups, so the higher capacity is nice. Um, you are satellite and cable ready on these campers, so you have plug-ins for, for both of those for the TV inside. You've got your fresh water tank fill there for filling your tank. This is going to be your uh, propane storage. 
So it's actually on a tray, the propane tanks are gonna pull out. This camper is gonna come with two 30 pound tanks, so quite a bit of propane. Um, and you do have an automatic changeover regulator, so if you're running out of propane in one tank, it'll seamlessly switch over to the other tank without an interruption in whatever you're using. So, um, Underneath the camper right here, you've got some different hookups. So you do have your city water connection under here. So if you're camping with a hose, you can just hook that right up to there. You do have a black tank flush for help cleaning out your onboard black water tank. And then you do have a solar plug right here. So the, um, the Arctic Fox truck campers are gonna come standard with a 45 watt solar panel on the roof. Then you also have room for additional solar both on the roof and on the side there that you can use. Um, Coming around, this camper was ordered with the dually brackets, so this camper is going to be going on a dual, real, dual rear wheel truck. So you've got these brackets that help get the jacks out to make room for the fender flares when you're backing under. So those are nice, they've just got the spring, so when it's on the truck they can flip you know, side to side to get out of the way. You've got the camper plug down in the corner here for plugging in for your lights and things like that. This model is going to have the slide out and as an option it does have the slide topper awning. So that's basically just uh, you know awning that rolls in and out with the slide out to help keep dirt and debris off of it. Around the side here you've got more storage as well as some storage in here, and then also plumbing access, and different things like that. This is going to be your remote for the Ryko Titan jacks. So basically, you just turn that on inside here. There's a little switch that you turn on, and then this will operate the jacks to raise and lower the camper. Then, like I was saying, you can use this remote to operate the slide out and the awning as well. So. Um, and then on the other side here, you do have sewer hose storage. So this door opens up and there's a tray that pulls out. Um, so you can store your sewer hose there, kind of away from everything else. You do have room here. So if you ever did have trouble with your slide out not operating, there is a way to crank it manually. We really don't see that very often, but it's good peace of mind to have it there. So yeah, so one thing we were just talking about, we talked about the power awning here. Um, you can adjust this awning. So you've got this button up here and you've got different settings there. So that's gonna be on both sides of the awning so you can tilt either side. But basically you just press that button and kind of pull the arm down and it'll actually tilt the awning down. Um, so that's good for if it's raining, you know, it helps water run off the corner instead of pooling up in the middle of the awning. Um, and then something that's unique about these awnings that Northwoods uses, most awnings when you're extending and retracting them, you need to have the two sides in the same position, you know, even with each other before you run them in and out. These awnings, as long as the two sides are within three holes of each other, um, they actually will extend and retract perfectly fine. So we do have some people that they'll just retract one side a couple clicks so that it's good for rain and they'll just leave it and not really adjust it. So that is a nice feature on these awnings that some people, you know, aren't familiar with. So. Okay, so this is the interior of the uh, Arctic Fox 992. Um, one nice thing, you do have the screen door here. So close that and have, get some nice fresh air inside the camper. Um, above the door here, you're gonna have a couple light switches. So you can see the exterior awning light. The switch for that's gonna be just right above your door here, as well as the porch light that's on um, this side of the camper. So. Um, got your nice big sink here. It's not double basin, but it is, you know, just nice and open, which I actually like for doing dishes. Down here, you're going to have kind of your main control panel for the unit. So you've got your water tank monitors there. So, you know, fresh black and gray um, water there. So as you use water, you can just press and hold those. It'll show you how full your tanks are. Um, down here, you've got switches for the water heater. 
So the water heater will operate on propane gas or 110 volt electricity, so you can control that here. We've got the switch for your water pump. If you're using water from the tank, you just flip that switch on there. A couple of light switches here. This switch is gonna be for your slide out room. So basically you just hold that in or out, the slide will run in and stop on its own or you know stop out on its own. And then you've got the switch for your power awning here. And then you actually, we talked about the onboard generator outside, you can control it from right here on the panel. So you've got the start and stop switch right there and then you've actually got a meter that tells you how long you've run your generator for so you can keep track of things like oil changes and things like that. Down below it, you're gonna have your solar charge controller. So all the Arctic Foxes are gonna come with a 45 watt panel standard from the factory. I think this one actually has some larger solar panels you know, as an option from the factory, but this will basically act as a monitor. Um, it'll show you your battery voltage, charging current, things like that to help you kind of know what your solar is doing. And it actually, it actually um, operates as a smart charger as well. So it's not gonna overcharge your batteries if they're already charged. So um, storage in here, you know, storage above the sink. Your uh, kind of main area lights are on a dimmer, which is kind of a nice feature. You can have it as bright as you want. Just the dimmer switch right there. You've got your Furion microwave that comes standard in all of these. You have a nice fan and a light in the hood there. You have a three burner cooktop as well as the oven. All of those can be, you know, lit just right here on the igniter. So you don't have to have a separate lighter or anything to operate those. And you do have some mood lighting on those as well. Uh, on the other side of the camper, you're gonna have what Northwoods calls their dream dinette. So instead of having table legs or anything in the way underneath the camp or underneath the table, it's just open. But then you can still make this into a bed using this latch underneath. So you just flip this lever over. And then if you just put some weight on the table, it'll actually fold down. You can take your cushions out of the way and lay everything flat to make it into a nice bed. Um, you do have storage underneath the step here as well. So just some nice extra storage under there for some longer items or whatever you'd like. Um, this camper does have the WineGuard uh, gateway router. So basically what this will do is it'll act as a Wi-Fi booster. So if you're camping somewhere that has Wi-Fi, you can turn this on and it'll basically help pull the signal into the camper and make it stronger so you have a better connection on whatever device you're trying to use Wi-Fi on. Another neat feature of this is that you take this cover off and there is a spot for a SIM card. So you can purchase a SIM card from your cellular carrier, place it in here, and then this unit will actually turn into um, a 4G LTE hotspot that you can use. Um, big storage compartment over here. You know, great as a pantry, things like that. You are going to have your air conditioner unit. Um, the AC does come standard on the Arctic Fox. Uh, it's non-ducted, so all your air is just going to come right out of the main unit here. You got your two-way Norcold refrigerator, so this will operate on um, propane gas or 110 volt electricity. There is an option from the factory; you can get these with a third um, 12 volt option, so you can operate the fridge off of your batteries. Got kind of another pantry here with your spice rack, so this will actually slide out. You've got room for you know, different different food items there. Um, beside me here is going to be the door to your bathroom. So one thing that sets the 992 apart is that it is going to have a dry bath, meaning that the shower is going to be separate from the toilet and the sink. So it's not in right now. It does come with a shower curtain um, to kind of separate that. So you've got your nice shower, you know, sink there, makeup mirror that you can actually, uh, you know, tilt to get it wherever you like. And then, of course, your toilet down there. 
There is going to be a fan in the bathroom as well to help pull air out. Um, up in the bedroom, you're going to have the optional TV. So this unit's going to come with the 32 inch TV. Otherwise, it's going to have a queen size bed with storage on both sides of the bed. Um, you're going to have USB chargers that will operate off of the 12 volt um, battery system on either side of the bed. So you can charge, you know, different devices that way if you don't have power. You do have a two-way um, fan up there as well. So you can control whether air is flowing in or out of the camper. And that'll actually do a good job moving quite a bit of air. Um, a few last things over on the wall here. You are going to have your thermostat. So this will control your furnace and your air conditioner in one spot, which is nice. Just a light switch here. And then you do have a touch screen radio here. So this will have AM and FM radio. Um, it'll have Bluetooth for your phone or other device. Um, it'll have a CD and a DVD player. So this has the optional TV. So you pop a DVD into here and you can watch it on the TV up in the bed. Well, thanks for watching our video on the Arctic Fox 992. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We hope you enjoyed this video.